Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. I'm very excited. I announced for Nevada Attorney General last week, and I'm running for Nevada Attorney General because I want to make Nevada the safest place to raise a family. I've got a four-year-old and a three-year-old boy at home, and I want them to be able to say that their dad did everything that he could uh, to try to make our communities and our state safer. You have some experience in this field. I do. I was actually the assistant attorney general uh, to Attorney General Adam Laxalt uh, just until about six weeks ago. And I resigned my position. Uh, I didn't want to run for public office out of a state employee position. Now I'm in private practice and uh, happy to receive uh, just today, actually, uh, Attorney General Laxalt's endorsement for Nevada Attorney General. That's not the only endorsement you've received, right? It's not. I actually was very humbled yesterday. We received the endorsement of 15 sheriffs across the state. And wow. so um, they are excited about my vision for a safer Nevada and to uh, partner with them to really make sure that our communities are a safe place to live. So tell everybody what falls under the office of the Attorney General. So the Attorney General, first and foremost, is the top law enforcement officer in the state. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, you have to have a person where experience really matters, right, where you've been able to work with law enforcement. I was fortunate enough to be a district attorney in Las Vegas, so worked collaboratively with law enforcement, had to look victims in the eye when they were the victims of crime. Um, I actually came to Nevada because I was an active duty Air Force judge advocate, and 20 months into my time here, I deployed to Iraq and worked at the Central Criminal Court of Iraq. And I will tell you that that experience for me was formative because I saw a country that didn't have the rule of law and that also wasn't safe and secure. And you realize that if you don't have safety and security in your communities, you have nothing. And so that's why I'm passionate about this job, about running mm -hmm. for AG, because we, we have to have safe communities. And I want to do everything that I can, wake up every single day mm -hmm. and think, how can I move the ball forward to make our community and our state safer? We'll find out more. So I'm at uh, westduncan.com. Again, westduncan.com. It's got my bio. You can reach out to us, learn more about the updates in the campaign. Uh, we're rolling out exciting endorsements. And look, I'm traveling the state. I want to hear from people. I want to hear how they think we can make our communities safer. And so I hope that I can earn people's votes uh, during this campaign. And I hope they'll reach out to me. So we will be seeing you around here, um, around our area. You'll be speaking at some events. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and for, your, for people that are watching this, I'd love for you to reach out to me. I, um, I won a state assembly race in 2012 by knocking personally on 20,000 doors. Mm -hmm. So I know the power of a face-to-face of a -face interaction and a handshake and getting a feel for someone, right? Mm -hmm. And so would love to, to meet with people in this community and earn their support.